position. Break. Huh. Oh, let's see. Deep breath. I'm not done yet. You're here too? Seems like this is the other end of that one-way path. The final days that member number 23, Acha, spent in the mechanical city showed me that even the longest of lives, such as hers, have a limit. I'm now certain that the outcome of this cultivation is... failure. Life can exist in thousands of different forms, which means the form itself has no purpose. These life forms are very advanced in their own concepts, and 
can even trigger chain reactions such as synesthesia. But that is not what I desire. I'm starting to feel lost. Perhaps the question, what is the essence of life? Never had an answer. Number one, Sandar. Have you ever felt this lost? Or resigned? Are you telling me to keep? Life is countless and varied in form. I firmly believe in that. Its beauty is like a myriad of flowers and I want to pluck the one that never wilts. The patterns of all things always have complicated and enchanting exteriors, while their inner essences remain simple and plain. If we were to trace things back to their roots, just one equation would be enough to solve the confusion of all life. Ever since I was a child, I have always delighted in observing aspects of microscopic creatures, such as the speed with which slime molds devour objects. I have also gazed far and wide across the macroscopic world, investigating the progress of the universe up to this day. It was all very simple. I wish to discover the true essence of life, something that all individuals possess unknowingly, whether it is the materialism of their existence or an unknown entity beyond corporeal realms. <sighs> to avoid blind faith in science, I cautiously raised a query. Would Rem May be able to peel away external influences? Just like pinpointing a coordinate, would she be able to uncover life's most primordial and beautiful form of existence? I thought of one life form that would truly lie beyond my reach, and that is... Yeah. here for a bit. Did something just open? Hidden room. Buzz. Only Madame Ron May has permissions. Please submit your ID. Buzz. Permissions granted. Select from the below. This function has... Is this... I thought of one life form that would truly lie beyond my reach. And that is... an emanator. I cannot comprehend what an emanator is. Scholars view them as the executors of the Eon's power. So, when did it begin? And at what point did they become closer to the Eons than any other life form? At first, I tried to create a genius. I failed. That question has no solution yet, and a long journey of discovery still lies ahead. However, erudition isn't the only path in the universe. If we set logic aside, would there be more primitive and pure emanators on other paths? Of course there would be. Daisy Ronda. I was able to see the beginning and end of the swarm disaster through the simulated universe, obtain data on the Imperator and Sectorum and their descendants, replicate them, nurture them, and create a brand new scientific discipline. It is a logical decision. I will certainly succeed. The entity that I reconstruct will bloom into a life never before seen. 
Will Herta and Skrulum like this experiment? Most likely not. Therefore, before they realize what I am doing, I must hurry my work, as well as find a fitting assistant. Permission granted. Buzz. Select from the below services. One, check visitor records. Two, open incubator entrance. like there's something new. Permission granted, Buzz. That sound's coming from above. There's someone in the distance. Who is that?
Hmm. Here, a genius move. And how will you counter it? <sighs> Only an idiot would ask such a question. Just move this here. Hmm. You look distressed. Something the matter? Uh. Hm. If that's the case, you better get thinking. Are you waiting for a sign? Time is ticking. Descend via the elevator. What you seek is there. Have you considered whether the answer to your question will be of any relevance to our current predicament? If a question is of no help, then don't ask it. Time is clearly precious to the both of us. <sighs> Never mind. Allow me to clarify something. I know exactly who you are. And I'm aware you are in Ron May's employ. This was not my intended destination. I just happened to find my way here during my visit and saw what she was up to. My goals are roughly aligned with yours. Since you're here, I won't intercede. But should you fail, I will be forced to prevent some avoidable misfortunes. That's all you need to know. Just two paragraphs. Very effective communication. I can't stand discourtesy, even when it comes from myself. The real Ron May's creation is hidden in the giant incubator below us. Go. Take the elevator and bear witness to this genius masterpiece. Mm-hmm. 